In this episode, let's show you how to do silhouette lighting. Now, in some of my microphone reviews, I will do silhouette lighting. <laughs> and really all I'm trying to accomplish with that is to sort of take the focus off of the talent, that's me usually speaking, into the microphone doing the test. And I want really people to focus on the sound. So that's one way I found to do it. You may find other cases where you may want to do silhouette lighting. Here's one way to do it. Now, first of all, I have the camera here aimed, of course, at the talent who will be sitting in the chair just over here. There is no lighting on the talent whatsoever. And then behind the talent, on the floor here, I have one LED panel. I have another one on a stand up here. These are my Aperture Lightstorm LED panels. And those are both aimed at a white paper backdrop. So really all I'm lighting here is the white backdrop. And that is all the lighting we need. It's very simple. <laughs> In terms of setting exposure, there are a couple of things there. Now, ideally, if you've got a light meter, that is the easiest way to do it, of course. And if you've got a light meter, you probably already know how to do this. But a light meter is very easy because then I can just get a reading really quickly, like so. And then I can use that reading to purposely overexpose the backdrop. So I really want that backdrop to be as white as possible. You can do the same thing with a gray card. And if you don't know how to do that, you might want to check out this previous episode where we talk about manual exposure. And as I said, once you get the reading from either the light meter or the gray card or however you're doing it, you could also do it on a histogram or using false color like we're doing here. I purposely overexpose it. And you can see here, in the center of the larger screen there, the larger monitor, we're actually overexposing. Red means completely and utterly overexposed. We're gonna pull it back a little bit. We don't wanna go that crazy, but probably somewhere maybe in this range here where just the center part is overexposed, and then we'll fix the rest of it in post to get that perfect kind of crisp look. Now, once you do get into post, this is about what the footage will look like. It's not a perfect silhouette just yet. You can see the backdrop is looking pretty white. We, we did try to illuminate that as evenly as possible, but it's not perfect. And also because our camera has a reasonable amount of dynamic range, there's still plenty of detail here in the shadows and we wanna get rid of all that. So we'll do two things here. We'll get rid of all those details in the shadows to make that a perfect, crisp, beautiful black silhouette. And then we'll also make sure that our white background is perfectly and evenly white. You can actually see here, if you look at the waveform, that we have this little wedge up here, which indicates that some of the whites over here at the edge are not perfectly blown out. They're not the highest value luminance that they can possibly be. Same thing, there's a little bit over here on this corner as well somewhere. Then of course, down here in the waveform, we're seeing the details that are actually showing in the person here. And we wanna completely crush those. So this is an example of how to do it in DaVinci Resolve. You can also, of course, do it in Premiere Pro. You can do it in Final Cut Pro. <laughs> there are hundreds of apps out there where you can do the similar type thing. But in this case, I'm gonna use my color wheels here, the primary wheels, to first of all, crush these blacks and make them that beautiful, very crisp, rich black. Um, what I'm going to do is come to lift here and then take the luminance roller here and just pull that down pull it to the left. While I'm watching the waveform here, I want to get rid of all this information here. I want them to be completely crushed. And you can see now we have that very crisp silhouette going on. What happened in the process though, when we did that, is it also actually accentuated this a little bit. Now you can see here, this is actually gray here as opposed to the perfect white. We want to actually make that perfect white. So we'll come over here to gain and on the Luma, we'll pull that all the way up. You can see now that's fixed that wedge. That's all gone, so that means all of the white values now are perfectly white, and all the black values are perfectly black. So from there, we can export it, and we are set to go with our silhouette look. I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do that. Be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon.